Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the Champion of DLC Challenge. We're Marine African Mistfires looking out over her faithful companions, friends, random guards. And she is saying goodbye. For we are leaving Cyrodiil behind. The Shivering Isles were much more inviting the other time we came in. Luckily, we got what we came for. We got the 100 plus calipers, okay? And with those in our possession, we can head in. We are officially in the wrap-up phase of the Shivering Isles. Now it's just a matter of doing the very few remaining objectives. Hello there. Greetings. Why are you out here, Sheldon? Everything is gone. What a shame. At least we had a proper party, didn't we? Bye. I remember our little dungeon romp. Don't think I don't. And Dreadwind's here. Yeah. That's how I feel some days, Dreadwind. But then I think about all the beautiful things in the world, like the gatekeeper. And then I get even more sad. <laughs> Look at this abomination. <laughs> Regardless, what are we doing today? Well, let's just go through the Gates of Madness. That's fine. We can go to Mania. We want to wrap up the last few quests of the game and dungeons of the game. And some of those are linked because we need to collect some more matrices so that we can make the best Amber and Madness armor. But in order to do that, obviously, we need to delve into the deep. Need to go into some dungeons, have some combat. We're also looking for uh, weird items, curiosities for the... That's a shambly man. For the Museum of Oddities. Those can also be found in dungeons. And of course, spell tomes is also something we are <laughs> looking for. So dungeons are going to be quite useful for us. And there's only really a handful of them left. And today we are going to tackle one of them, which should be right around the corner. Also knowing that we have dungeons coming up, we need to prepare for just such an event. Welcome to Blackroot Lair. One of the biggest concentrations of my spells are weird. One of the biggest concentrations of Withering Moon can be found inside. Yeah. That paralysis trick we did on the trolls in the last one, though, wasn't actually that... that silly. Gadoosh! And... He's a strong boy. I keep forgetting how chonky these boys can be. Health pool on him is so big you can jump in and take a swim. And... what... He remains rigid in that. Madness more rocks matrix. That sounds like something we need. Is it something we need? We, we have one of those. Okay. Let's find out what it is that we do need, just so that we can keep things uh, in mind. We're gonna need the amber boots, which we have. We're gonna need a curus, which we don't have, so curus. And gauntlets, we're also missing. Hammer, shamba, shield. Uh, what did I say? I've already forgotten. Curus, gauntlets, shield. Mm, do we... Uh, sword. Curus, gauntlet, shield, sword. Curus, gauntlet, shield, sword. So four pieces of amber. Madness. I feel like we have quite a lot of madness stuff. And we are missing... We have the bow. We have the claymore. We do have the long sword. So then it's just down to the madness armor of boots. Curus. We're missing gauntlets. Because we have the Greaves, the Helmet, and the Shield. We're only missing the Gauntlets. Oh, wow, from the Madness Gear. Exciting, I do believe. Oh, all right, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. There are certain dungeons where we can get Madness. And other where we can get Amber. And I believe Grumites means it's a dungeon where we could get some Madness. So, let's keep an eye out for those mad, mad Gauntlets. Blister pod caps, also beautiful. Let's go into Blackroot Lair. Let's get a feel for this place. Just double checking the map to see that it's not something I've actually done before. Because it can be a little hard to tell once you get into the midst of it. But we should have some pretty solid ways to clear out these fools. I've been playing a lot of Saver of Skyrim lately. Where I'm making my way across the frigid north. Currently without a companion. 
It reminds me of the old days of Marina Mistfire, where I just- I- I need someone by my side. <laughs> Meanwhile now, I've just become this antisocial psychopath who prefers to be alone just so I can blast everything with fire. You know, that's... Some days are just like that. You know, we all go through those psychopath fire blasting days. Can we just lay you down to rest? And then I can spank you a little and there we go. That tends to settle him. Tends to settle him down. Alrighty. I need to stop picking up madness or I don't need it. It's gonna weigh me down. And I won't get anywhere. A little village! You don't happen to be storing any madness gauntlets here. That'd be mad lucky for us. Oh, look at that. <gasps> a little grummy. A little grummy death dealy. You don't like it when I call you that. Well, too bad. This is actually going okay. This feels much smoother than other dungeons lately. I guess because they can't dispel the magic effects I put on them. That's one big it. Oh, well, I shouldn't have said that. Bow and arrow grummites are actually the worst due to their paralysis. I actually do fear them. And, wow. I guess we'll just put them... I can't even see anything. There we go. Just <laughs> played it. Madness, Greaves, why did I even pick that up? Let's let... I, I need to have a serious talk with myself. We don't need duplicates. I'm gonna put away that too. I have any duplicates here? We don't. All right. But that's good. That just goes to show that the Grumites can drop exactly what we need. Just need that one piece of madness and then we can go make that amazing enchanted madness set. And with that, I'm going to say that the Antipodian Hammer quest is officially complete. Badoosh. I believe it already shows us complete in our log, because we've talked to the people who can make the armor and learned about it, but I don't want to check it off until we have every piece of the highest level madness and amber. Feels fitting. All right, can you not shoot your arrows into me? There we go. Fist me. Come on. It's much better. Badoosh. Sound like dogs. Sound like dogs. Demented dogs. Saying that is an insult to a dog. Madnosaur. Alrighty. But everyone we kill brings us one step closer. That's ah, a golden lockpick. I'm so used to doing Mimir's voice by now that <laughs> suddenly I want Marina to be like, Hey, I'm gonna go look around in this cave. Yeah, okay. That was... That was something. Let's go get some withering moons. Place them all up in our retort. Maybe bring out the mortar and pestle. Ah, so this would be... Is it below? Oh, it's... <laughs> Doris, right there, you imbecile. That's fine. Okay, so we know that there's one door here to the outer encampment. Uh, oh. Let's go and see if we can find one of the other paths. I just like to having... Uh, one, I'm moving with one arm here. Oh, well, that's... Hello. <laughs> Fancy... Oh, no, I am stuck. Oh, no. I am actually... There we go. <laughs> I was about to get creative there. I have some ways out of a tight situation. Learned some clever techniques. Drop down. On the ground. Oh, don't mind if I do madness gauntlets. That is the last one, isn't it? Full madness. Let me just double check here. So we have boots, cuirass, uh, greaves, gauntlets, helmet, shield, and then it comes to the weapons. We have arrow, we have war axe, we have bow, we have claymore, and we have longsword. All madness gear can now be made. Thank you very much. Oh, that's gonna be good. That is gonna be good. All right, nothing can stop us now. Uh, yeah, what's in the stump? A little potion of dispel. Ah, reminding me of the dear heretics. We'll have to go face some more of them eventually, too. I'll have to come prepared. Oh, wait. Ah, we could go straight to the tunnels. 
Oh no, we could drop back down to the tunnels. Cool. Alright, that means there's really only one way forward and that other area is the way back. They got better at doing the dungeon design where you have one door leading back in the Shivering Isles. They're not very prominent in the Oblivion dungeons, but here they've actually started. I just looped around. <laughs> Can't imagine why I would get confused in these very distinct hallways. Nope, nope, that's where you get confused. Then we go in. Was that a chest? Hold on, hold on. 72 gold and a lockpick. What's our gold amount looking like? We are missing 8,500 golds. Then we're at 2 million. 2 freaking million! That's pretty cool. That is pretty alright with me. That is definitely the most gold I've ever seen. In Oblivion. Granted, you can, of course, do glitches to get outrageous sums, but we've earned these, okay? And by earn these, I mean we've taken these from other people who earned them. So we earned these. Yeah. Oh, that was that was a fight. That was a little embarrassing for you. I feel kind of bad. Hope nobody was around here to. Oh no, none of your friends were there to see it. So <laughs> you are all right. How are you doing, though? I hope you're doing all right. Thank you for tuning in and spending another one of your Sundays here. In the dank cavern with me. Oh, our adventure is nearing its completion. But man, I sometimes stop to just think back on... Ooh, we can get amber in here too. I think I'm good on amber. Just the road we've been on, how far we've come. But I'm not going to reminisce too much now. Plenty of time to do that in the last episode. And I already feel myself about to cry just thinking about it. So I'm just, just not going to. I'm an emotional guy, okay? It doesn't take much for the feels. It's just how I am programmed. Speaking of programmed, you guys did not get much intelligence, did ya? You are no threat to me. Poisons. No. <laughs> uh, silver spoon? Is that a weird... I don't think that's a weird item, but that's just... I have never in my life... Silver spoon? Is that like a... It's not a... I don't know. I just have never seen a silver spoon before. Oh, that's fun. I can't remember seeing a silver spoon. Well... The world keeps delighting me. Alright. We're overlooking a little camp area here, which is the same area that we fought our way through when we just came in. What's in the s- Okay. We can't find spell tomes in here. So that's wonderful. And uh, torch went out. And it did not go to the next one. And, all right. Only 100 left. Let's use them wisely. Oh. This is what happens when you don't put a weight limit on anything. In Skyrim, I'm carrying around, like, maximum three torches. Here, it's like, 100? Not enough. I need more. So, game designers, I'd carry weight to torches. Be responsible. Otherwise. <laughs> the channel. But which channel? Let's see here. How do I get in? It's all about finding... Where is the... Wait, is it around... There we go. They... They've been hiding their doors. Also, I do not like fleshy doors. When you're designing a door, who decided fleshy? Boop. Ah, oh, Withering Moon. Oh! Grumite Painbringer. Well, I hope you brought a good mood today, because it's your last, so you should... Smile as you die. No point feeling down about it. It's just inevitable. Like, I feel like Marina really ought to just give the courtesy to these enemies in dungeons. She ought to just send a letter in advance saying, Hey, so yeah, next Turdos, I'm gonna stop by and clear the dungeons. If you have any loved ones, you might want to write some letters. You know, just give them a little heads up. But that wouldn't be the Marina way. 
Ah, eh, somebody's shooting arrows. I'm just gonna laugh at them until they... Wow, that if that withering moon could be paralyzed... He, he would be. <gasps> Shaken in fear. I am actually taking a lot of damage. I can still die on max difficulty. <laughs> Sorry, it's just sometimes I don't want to be left out of the grunting club. It's a very exclusive club, you see. 68 golds. It's almost very nice. We could go get some more Withering Moons, and I think I will. Take some of that. Take some of this. And then we're gonna look at that supply once we get out. There's more Withering Moon. And some here. And there's a lot of Withering Moon. Somebody went bananas with the Withering Moons here. Come, come, give me that. Thank you. Hello, Grumites. In my dungeon? There we go. Marina ought to have a dungeon. That would be fun. Oh, rickety gate? Oh, don't worry, buddy. I am so freeing you. Come on. Let's go fight these fools. <laughs> yes. Elder Gnarled Prisoner. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun little thing. Alright, come on. There's more to kill. Is he following me? Or is he just walking? I don't know. But either way, I'm loving this. But um bum bum ba. I'm trying to hold up. Oh, but please come with me. No. <gasps> yes! There's another one here. Or is it the other one from the I don't know. But he's here. Oh, he's... Ooh. He sunk his roots deep into me. Oh, no. They've been... Capturing these poor gnarls. We can't be having that. Don't worry, gang. I will get you out. I will get you out of here. I'll count these as friendly. I don't feel like... <gasps> killing them. Hold on, there's goody 65 gold and a lockpick. Right, let's deal with the archer, let's see if we can make him drop the bow. There we go, your greatest weapon. Put down. Because I got a little close to ya. Disrespect your surroundings! Is it coming for me? We good? I think he's just confused. Alright, just don't get in the way. We got AoEs going on over here. And some of that. Excellent. Grumite cudgel. Um, tempting, but... Mother's mercy has served me well, and it will continue to serve me well. What are you... Alright, I hear the grunting. Oh, the battle is raging, but the Grumites are losing, I think. Okay. You know what? I'll let the trees finish this battle. I'm just gonna go here, take... Five gold, a flawed pearl, and a lockpick. Yeah, what did you do today? Thought so. That's the kind of treasure you write a legend about. Oh, are you... Oh, I think he's still... No, he's dead. Mmm, we don't need madness stuff. I was about to get excited. Well, good job, everybody. Grumite shields. They were in the middle of the little Grumite dinner. Channel. Tunnels. Okay. So there's two paths now. Where did I come from again? Did I come from the channels? I think I came from the channels and the tunnels is probably the last zone because that was the one that looped back to the beginning. So we're going to take some of the Withering Moon that's over here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, as you might. Wait a minute. It was a loop! I feel betrayed. Right, let's see if we can find these tunnels over here. They're supposedly here somewhere. Maybe in here. Aha! Blackroot Lair Tunnels. Oh, mistfire, bless myself. Whoa, bless yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what they say. Every time, that ragdoll. Just as funny every time. 
Oh, uh, like you almost feel bad for them. Almost. Is this the last Grumite dungeon? We might be seeing a few more Grumites, but the dungeons we have left, it's Fane, which we briefly jumped into before I decided to nope out of there, which I believe has heretics. There's a uh, Zirithard, which I believe played a role during the Ritual of Dementia quest, but it should be explorable since we went th we went through the Ritual of Mania, so we'll see what that dungeon is like. And there's Blackroot Lair that we're doing now, and there's Not Bone Chamber. And those are really the last dungeons. <sighs> good riddance, I say. Alright. But it's good. It's, it's good to get your combat abilities tested every now and again. Even when it's the same enemy in the same corridors with the same sounds and the same music. It's all good, because we got major treasure in this one. I'm smelling it. Alright, maybe my sense of smell is a little off. Look at that hollowed amp. It's all good. We can go over here. Why? Yeah, because we checked this out, but it's, it's not defogging. That's... there we go. Made me very upset. Now it's all been fixed. My weapon is about to break, though. I'm about to break. There we go. Do we have enough potions to continue? We have 10 Restore Magicka potions. We currently have 43 Withering Moons, so... We should be plenty good, but I also think that making some of those right this instance is going to be pretty good. We're going to do some... Shall break down the Gromite eggs. The potion sells for more than the ingredient will. Gonna take some thorn hook, another water boot pod pit, some wisp core that somehow ended up in my inventory. Wanting some screen time. And withering moons. Done. That brings us up to 57 restore magicka potions. Excellent. Most excellent. Alrighty, it's time to face the consequences of your actions. Now go! Is this just a, a fun little camp? Oh my! That was brutal! <laughs> One might even say it was pretty gnarly. Alright, so now we only have one way to go. The middle road leading Ooh. down. Alright, we're getting close to the end now. This Grumite Death Dealer is still not figuring out how to deal death. That's fine, I'll give him a lesson. Free lesson too. It's gonna cost me some Magicka, but you get the benefits. Badoosh. Oh, look at this man. He looked extra, f extra fierce. Then I realized you were just like the rest of them. Oh no, oh. Yeah. Are you mad at me? I don't think he's mad at me. I wasn't expecting the Elder Gnarl to be after me. To be following me, not after me like he's... We're friends, me and him. Seven gold and a lockpick. Why do I even try? Can you beat him up already? I am getting impatient. And... Oh, come... Your butt and my butt need to calm themselves before anything bad happens. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck in a wall waiting for this. Elder Gnarl, if you don't do your thing. And I hit him. Oh, he's cool. Oh, he's not cool. <laughs> he is not cool. Hey, listen, listen, I tried, okay? You're just being unreasonable at this point. So, let me just... Thank you. I'm seeing Gnarl Bark all over the place. I guess it makes sense now. Entering... We did check out the other... path. Right? Oh my gosh, I have to go check now. 
Why is there a road on both sides of that door? I didn't even think about that. Oh, because it comes from... Ah! Wait, was this it? I would have passed by 73 gold, though. And I would have left this guy in here, which, honestly... I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Okay. That should be it. How's the gold looking? Alright. We've gotten around 300 gold in cash throughout the dungeon. Whoa. Seems about right. Whoa. But the memories we made... Priceless. We freed several gnarls now. I guess that has to be today's good deed, because I'm not going to do any more. Yeah. And out we go. Ooh, Cleared. Black Root Lair. It didn't really take that long either, so I think we're just going to head back to Bliss. Now, some of these last dungeon clearing episodes, I think I want to do one dungeon per episode. That's just what makes sense, so... They might not be as long as the, uh... The later episodes have been, just because we're doing that one dungeon, even though they can be quite long, so... But, I think that's a nice... A nice break from things. Right now, we're gonna go to Bliss. I want to make myself that set of madness armor. Just so we have that done. We're gonna pretend the world is not falling apart around us. Okay. Just outside the city gates. So... Madness, that's what we have to go over to Crucible to play with. We gotta find Cutter, and I know just a place where she resides. I thought these streets were a little macy at first, but I'm getting more comfortable with them. Whoop, that's a crime, my lord, my lady. We don't do that, even though they're very polite when they stop you, they will still... Send your stolen items to the other side of the world. Why is Cutter not open? Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> That's there. Something smooth and sharp. Leave your foes sticky with blood. I need to forge armor. What is your wish? So... We can get magic boots, magic curus, magic gauntlets, magic greaves, magic helmets, magic shields. So, take it from the top, baby. Magic boots! Crush the skulls of the fallen under your boots. Stomp out their eyeballs with your heel. That's a little much. Paint the floor red in a bloody dance. Just not along, Marina. Two madness or removed. Madness boots matrix removed. And perfect madness boots. All right, let's do this for the rest, too. Let's get the Curus. The enemy's blade will glance across the smooth metal. A gentle caress. Mmm. And let's get the gauntlets. They say the heart anchors the soul to the man. Think of this while the heart of your enemy beats in your hand. Then squeeze. Yikes. What do you desire? Uh, some griefs. Such strong blood pulses through the legs. The sooner we get done with this, the better. Uh, magic helmet. The best way for a blade to slip into a man's brain is through the eye socket, ear hole, or through the nose. I will be wearing this helmet every day then, even when I sleep. Thank you for that what? mental image. And a magic shield. This shield... Like a true friend is always willing to take a good beating. I... Alright, we're gonna need some weapons too. What shall I forge for you? We're gonna need some magic arrows. It's a satisfying sound when an arrow rips into flesh. We're gonna need a bow. With a gentle moan, this bow will yield to your pull. With a scream of delight, it will launch pain into your enemies. All right, magic axe. Think of me fondly when you bury this axe deep into your foe's skull. All right, uh, magic claymore. When you are really angry, it feels good to hack into someone with a giant blade. All righty. 
and a magic sword to round this off. Cutting a man apart, little by little, such sticky sweet victory. Nice. See you later. With that, I'm over encumbered. Who'd have thought? Let's check out the situation. Oh boy, am I heavy. It's time to have a look. Perfect Madness Boots. Fortify Athletics, 12 points. Perfect Madness Curus. Fortify Strength, 12 points on self. Alright. Oh, there's a, there's a face on my back. There's a face on my fr there are a lot of faces on me actually. It's it's mostly faces. Madness gauntlets, blade and blunt, greaves for some endurance, helmets for the willpower and a madness shield for reflect damage 10%. That's a nice set. We're going to need a weapon to go along with it. We have some perfect madness arrows. The perfect madness bow. Damage health, 20 points. Perfect Madness Claymore. Cement. Oh my! Look at that sword! I... That's amazing. A Madness Longsword and a Madness War Axe. Those are just... Oh my... <laughs> Look at me! Like, this is... I'm sadly not going to be using it. It's so heavy and it does, but it looks amazing. Cutter, you've done a fine job, girl. Now, please help me. I'm so heavy. I'm going to need the misfire shoes here. There we go. They kind of break, but at least I can move. Wow, I forget how fast I am sometimes. Do I feel faster? I feel like I feel faster. Maybe that's just. I don't know. I'm confused. But with that, the full madness armor set is complete. We still need to do the amber one before I check the quest off as complete, but man, it's been a very, very good start. Oh, I kind of want this gear. Just It's just so cool. I'm gonna need to store it away somewhere. I haven't really had a place to store things. So I'm probably going to find a place in the in the castle to uh, put some things away now. But man, your grace. The saints stand strong, your grace. So they do. And so do I. Well, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this little delve into Blackroot Lair and look what we came back with. In the next episode, we're headed out there once more because there are dungeons to clear, enemies to kill, and a full set of amber armor that I want to get my hands on. So have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.